Hey guys, I hate to have to do another rant video, but I am just infuriated. Um, so today I had to charge back to my PayPal. I'd actually agreed on my Etsy to send an item to a customer, a necklace, because she said it would be a perfect gift for a friend, and I was all psyched about it for her. She was willing to pay the extra shipping, um, which was a lot. And then when I go to look at my PayPal, I realize I have an open case. Well, this does not please me because that also means that I don't have the money to send this new international customer's package. So then I go to look at it, and this is the second time this month that I've had this issue. Um, I believe it was on the 10th or so last time. I, I mean, I, this, luckily this time I had delivery confirmation. I'm going to hide some of the numbers, but I honestly don't even care who sees this right now. Um, I'm just gonna say it right now, this person's name is Donna Paulo. I, I really don't care, because obviously the item was received. I checked the delivery confirmation, proof of that is right here, and it said it was delivered on the 23rd of January. I sent it out on the 19th. So, this is two months ago that this person chooses to file an unauthorized payment chargeback. This isn't right. Um, I was freaking out last night, I haven't slept a lot. Um, I wrote to some team members on my Etsy, and they said there is a scam going on. Apparently, husband and wife couples are uh, buying stuff from the spouses or whatever credit card and then charging back money to people's PayPal. Um, I guess two weeks later, but in this case, it was two months later for me. This isn't the first time this has happened, and I actually did end up getting money taken from me because I didn't have the tracking at the time. Now I track every single package I do. Um, even though it's much easier for me to just do the drop-off mail, you can't do tracking that way, so obviously that is really annoying to me because I don't have the time sometimes to send 30 packages or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to have to do that now. Luckily I have started tracking every single package I send. Um, except for, yeah, I don't do international anymore, I don't do Canada, but I do have a stamp on, uh, I guess it would be a, what do you call, customs form or whatever, and it has the official postal stamp, whatever. Um, last time it was this girl named Jade Radke, yes, I'm putting her name out there, I don't care anymore, this is getting ridiculous. Um, I wrote to her and said, hey Jade, because we actually had had some conversations between us, she was choosing a color for this ear cuff I made, and I was being very, very, I was providing amazing customer service. Um, I was saying, is there any other way I could be of help and such things? And then, um, so then I guess it was a month later actually from that date, I get the claim from, I'm guessing, her father, Daryl Radke or whatever, because they had the same last name. So obviously it's not somebody who stole a credit card and is using it all around town or something. It's, they had the same freaking last name. So then she said, oh, it's because he's trying to close his credit card. I was like, what the hell does that even mean? Obvi I have no idea what that means. Um, so then I said, okay, well, will you please let him know to please close this? Because obviously you got the item, so that's not the deal. And she said, okay. And I said, please keep me informed. So then four days later, PayPal gives them the money because all I had to prove it was a receipt. Even though it did say the... Um, the, what do you call it? Not, yeah, area code? No, what do you call it? Post number or whatever? Zip code, sorry. i so fried right now. The zip code on the receipt, it just wasn't enough proof for Etsy. It had to be tracking or confirmation, which really pissed me off because at the time I wasn't charging for that and people would have to ask for it themselves if they wanted to pay the extra because I didn't feel like I wanted to charge so much money for tracking. Now I just do it. I up my prices. I'm just doing it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> But anyways, I'm just so freaking pissed about this. All the stuff I've gone through with the U.S. Postal Service and now this, I mean, ugh. And also, I had to look through, let me just show you all the paper I had to look through. All of this I had to look through just from the past couple months. Receipts, uh, tracking information here, these little green slips they don't use anymore. Uh, these are international thingies. Just mountains and mountains of receipts I had to look for to find this stupid thing. And the thing is, it's not even about the money. Yes, it's a little bit about the money, because obviously I didn't receive the money, but it's the principle. Last time it was only, I guess, 15 bucks I lost. This time it's 18. Luckily, like I said, I have the confirmation thingy, so I typed in all that. I scanned in the actual thing. I 
sent the tracking information. I went on the U.S. Postal Service website, and I also um, tracked it, took a screenshot. Then I found the receipt where it was sent to that person, Don Apollo, from her daughter Alice or whatever. I don't know if it's her daughter. It could be her spouse. It could be her... I God knows what. But it was clearly sent to that address. So hoping... I'm really hoping PayPal realizes that I am not the scammer here, that they're trying to friggin' say they didn't authorize payment. This is clearly either a domestic dispute where the daughter or whatever is using the credit card without the parent letting, like, knowing, which in that case you should know how to take care of your own business at home, or it's that scam. And luckily, my team members had had slash heard of similar scams, so I don't feel like I'm a friggin' being, you know singled out here. It really is a legit thing. Um, so, but it's, it's just freaking me out. I really don't appreciate this. And it's not the sort of thing you can prevent, really. I mean, you can see if there's a person on Etsy who hasn't been using their profile for very long, or a new user or something, but on the other hand, I mean, you can't see, I can't see if people are using a credit card through their PayPal, I don't want to send to all my wonderful customers a message that says, scammer alert, blah, 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 all this stuff. I, I just don't have time for this, though, you know? I'm supposed to be studying right now. All I can do is think about this. I don't have the money to send out the package now that I was hoping I would have. I mean, I have TCBMs and stuff I'm going to be sending out before this, obviously. I mean, she's just going to have to wait, this international customer. I feel terrible about that, but honestly, I mean, ugh. Sorry for ranting again, guys. I I wonder if you guys have similar situations, if you use eBay or Etsy or something. Let me know. Um, also, just beware for your own sake. This is as much a video about being careful with this new type of scammer um, who actually does pay for the item, but then, you know, does all kinds of crazy shit afterwards. Seriously, always do tracking. That's my one huge rule. I do that for TCBMs every single time. Um, I even do it for FCBMs, honestly. <laughs> That's more because I don't want the stuff to get lost, but, and same for the other stuff. Just cover your butts, guys. I'm not kidding. Um, this is really annoying, and I'm hoping it never happens again, really. I'm hoping that, I, I don't know if I should put it on my front page or something on my Etsy, um, scammers beware, I have, or something, I don't know. I have no idea what to do. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. And, um, yeah, I've taken my action on my part about this Etsy thing, or PayPal thing. So hopefully PayPal will do, will be just and fair and give me my freaking money back. Okay, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.